All right, Shalom, 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 Israel. This is Brother Yawana. This is Brother Parya. I want to start off first and foremost, giving a course, all honor, glory, and praises to Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh Shah. Um, with the Flaming Fire Israel, um, we got a, a nice little Sabbath class video through the Spirit. Um, uh, of course, we want to give all honor and glory to the Most High on this beautiful Sabbath. We'll start us off on another day. Another uh, holy Sabbath day. Um, I want to thank him for all the knowledge and wisdom he's given us, um, and for uh, all the mercy and grace he's bestowed upon us. So we want to get right into the the video. This video um, is basically um, telling the people that you don't have to know everything, man. That's what people don't understand. You don't have to know everything, and you have to stick to the basics. Cling to the basics. Cling cling to the uh, the basic understanding of the Most High, the basic wisdom and the, un the knowledge of um, his laws, his statutes, his commandments, the understanding of his son, because these are the things that's going to uh, allow you, if it be of the Lord's will, for you to be of the kingdom, be into the kingdom. Um, we got a lot of the doctrines and a lot of other things that are going on that people get led astray on or things that don't matter, the things that are not in these critical things that people get carried away with. And, and stray away from the things that are the most concerned to the Most High. Um, so go ahead and get that Second Timothy three and thirteen, Paya. Okay. All right. This is Second Timothy chapter three and verse thirteen. It right. says, "But evil men and sorcerers shall seducers. wax." Let me lock you. But evil men and seducers shall wax worse and worse. Right. Deceiving. And being deceived. So what you got to under, understand is that evil men and seducers are going to wax worse and worse. Um, and this was during the time of Christ, a little bit after. I mean, we have to understand if this was after Christ and evil men and seducers are going to wax worse and worse, deceiving and being deceived. That means you're going to have people that are deceived themselves, that are uh, uh, fully convinced on what they're, sp they're saying is the way of truth. So... It, 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 as time continues, and we know now we're in 2023, uh, how how much deception there is, even into when you're talking about the way of truth. We're talking about the way of truth here. We ain't talking about the, the main deceptions like Christianity, uh, Islam, all these different religions and philosophies. Right here, we're talking about people who believe in the Most High, who believe in His Word and are trying to keep His commandments. And what we see here is you have people that stray away from that, that seduce you. That lead you away into other things. That go into deeper things. Uh, that make new commandments. That make a uh, uh, new understanding, new doctrines, right? That take us away from the critical uh, things that the Most High has bestowed upon us to continue in. Um, keep reading up. It says, "But coming." It says, "But continue though in the things which thou has learned mm -hmm. and has been." Uh, assured of mm -hmm. knowing of whom thou has learned them right so we have to continue mm. uh give me first corinthians 8 and 2 paya first corinthians 8 and 2 so we have to continue in the things which we have learned and have been assured of now what have we been assured of we've been assured of moses um and the commandments the lord gave him and the children of israel the laws, the statutes, commandments, the things that he set up. We've also been assured of Yahweh Shah, Hamashiach, the Messiah who was prophesied of old to come and redeem the nation of Israel for the forgiveness of their sins and their transgressions. So these are the things, the key things that we're assured of. Mercy, uh, grace, forgiveness, brotherly love, right? These are the things that the Most High is looking for us to have and that for this to be a part of our character, right? Not worrying about these deep breakdowns and revelations, these deep breakdowns and dang, these deep things. And we're going to get into it, man, because a lot of brothers think that you have to know and understand these re revelations and these different uh, prophecies and different mysteries and, and things to uh, be a part of the kingdom of the Most High. And what you're going to find out is that that is not so. But rather know the basics, rather understand the the, the small things, rather understand the, the critical things, love, mercy grace, the Most High's commandments, his laws and his statutes, things that we are assured of, right? Knowing of whom 
we have learned of whom that has learned them. So we know we learn these things from the most high, not from men, not from men, because men do things that might sound right. You might go into Revelation, you might hear one brother break it down, it, it might sound right. You might hear another brother break it down, and it might sound right too. Or you might, oh, that could be that. Or I don't know, it sounds like it could be. That means you're not assured of, right? So you have to stick to the things that you are assured of. Now, I'm not saying you can't uh, learn these things and you, you know, you use the most high, uh, pray to the most high for wisdom, not to understand on certain these things and you continue to grow in these things. But these things, uh, these uh, higher level uh, uh, verses and precepts are not commandments to us. These things, is, it's great if you know them, right. but these are not the things that you're going to be getting into the kingdom of heaven off of, right? Um. I think that, that you got that uh, First Corinthians, y'all. Uh, <clears throat> I got, Go I got the First Corinthians. Go ahead. All right, this is First Corinthians, chapter eight, and verse one. It says, "Now, as uh, go ahead, jump to, jump to verse two. Jump to verse two. All right, verse two. It says, and if any man think think that he know knoweth anything, mm -hmm. he knoweth nothing. Yet mm -hmm. he ought to know. Right. So, but if Keep going. Uh, so like it, let me jump in there real quick. It oh. says that if any man know of anything, he know of nothing yet as he ought to know. So what the scripture is saying here, you only know what the most high is giving you to know, right? You got people who think they get puffed up in knowledge, puffed up in wisdom. You know, they're making their breakdowns, requirements on the flock, making yeah. the way they understand the most high scripture and say, oh yeah, this is what, if you don't understand this, you ain't of the Lord. <laughs> if you don't understand it this way, and you go, you break into Revelation, Daniel's things that, that even those men during those times couldn't understand, right? right. And even now they 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 misunderstand it, mis uh 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 misrepresent it, and lead it. This is what these things are great. They're great. All these things are used for knowledge and wisdom, like the scripture says. The verses of the Bible can be used for wisdom and knowledge and understanding. But we have to stick to the critical things, the things that we're assured of to teach the flock, to show the flock the way they should walk. Um, to uh, repent of our sins, to know what's right and for what's wrong, what we do when we mess up, the, uh, how to show love, how to show mercy, how to show grace, all these things. Those are the things that are critical. Um, uh, verse 3. Yeah. It says, but if any man love Yahweh, the same is known of him. Right. So if you so you got to love the most high. The, the one that's loved the most high, the same is known, known of him. So how do we love the most high? We know how we love the most high. First John 5, five and 3, uh, First John 2 and 3. We love the most high by doing what he's told us to do, by sticking to his laws, that's commandments, by following after his son, Hamashiach Yahweh, by being a light and a representation of him, by doing the things in which he has told us to do, not going knowing deep breakdowns. You know, you stand in your basement all day and night. And <laughs> <laughs> you're going down revelations you're linking up with uh youtube videos and all oh, that's cool if you can do it the most i want to uh, well if, if it might be true right but we have to stick to what's really gonna change us what's really gonna uh uh uh, uh lead us into the right way that real way of change the the way the most i wants us to walk in um that's why i want to get that priest precept give me um i want to get uh proverbs three and five proverbs three and five actually before we get proverbs three and five so, so like give me psalms 19 and 7 psalms 19 and 7 psalms 19 and 7 we'll get to proverbs 3 and 5 in a little bit give me psalms 19 and 7 because this is what we have to understand we have to stick to what's going to change us what's going to make us move in the way in which the most high is well approved in what he cares about the most <coughs> right, right? Yeah. go ahead this is Psalms chapter 19 and verse 7. It says, right. the law of the Lord is perfect, mm -hmm. converting the soul. The testimony of the Lord is sure. Right. Making wise and simple. Right. So we understand that the, the law of the Most High is perfect. Now, we fall short of this law in breaking his commandments. But going back to it, this is these are the key things and the key elements we have to do if we fall after the Most High. And that's why we had a Messiah to um if we do fall short but these are the things we have to look forward to to improve our lives and, and look at the messiah yahweh as a uh a walking after him to better ourselves right 
So we have to do these things to follow after the Lord and understand what he really wants us to do. Right. That's because that's what converts our soul. That's what makes the change. Right. You're not going to make a change in your soul by understanding deep revelations, man. You're not going to. Uh, oh, you, you got brothers out here finding deep revelations and they're making these things requirements. If you don't understand it the way I understand it, you're not of the Lord. That's not the, these. This is a, uh, a lot of men are sent here for divisions to take us away from the most high, to take us away from the, the true things. A lot of these men that are upholding those things. Like in the days of old, they were up like the Pharisees used to do. They used to uphold all these things like cleaning dishes, cleaning um uh, uh wash I mean washing their hands, doing all type of manner of things instead of upholding the Most High's actual law, statutes, commandments, showing mercy, showing grace, right? Um, so give me uh, I want to get First Corinthians, uh, chapter two and eleven. You ain't want that Proverbs? Oh yeah, bring it out, Salaki. It's more than um. I, uh, is it Proverbs uh, three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can bring it out. You can bring it out. Proverbs three and five. You can bring it out. <clears throat> or is it Trump Proverbs three and five? Yeah, it was. Well, you did you finish um twenty twenty um you finished uh I believe you finished yeah you finished that yeah so Proverbs that three and five. yeah. All right, um, this is Proverbs chapter three and verse five. It says, "Trust in the Lord with all thy heart." Mm -hmm. And lean not into thy own understanding. So man, he has a, uh, it's a reason why the scripture exists, right? So men have a habit of leaning into their own understanding, right? Uh, linking this up with this and saying, oh man, I can do this. And then I got this. Oh man. Now all we got, all of us got to wear red on each Friday. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and you coming up with all type of crazy doctors and understanding because you're not staying with on to what you're assured of, man. You can go crazy. You you can lose your mind if you're not staying focused on the most important things, man. The most I said didn't say you have to be the wisest man on the earth like Solomon to inherit the kingdom, man. You have to follow after him and believe in his son and keep in the law, statutes, commandments, man. That's what you have to do. It's not a uh, you don't have to be uh, Jeremiah or Ezekiel. I know a lot of these brothers think they're prophets. Right, think of these these think themselves as these major prophets, right? But you don't have to be these men to be servants of the Lord. Um, now I want to get let me get this one right here. I'm gonna get First Corinthians two. Why you in Proverbs? Give me Proverbs twenty eight and twenty six. Actually, get that first. Get that first. Proverbs twenty eight twenty six. Before I bring out First Corinthians two. Twenty eight and twenty six. Yeah, Proverbs twenty eight twenty six. All right. This is Proverbs chapter 28 and verse 26. Come on. It says, he that trusteth in his own heart is a fool. Right. But whosoeth walketh wisely, he shall be delivered. Right. So how do you walk wisely is by following after the most high's wisdom, his law, statutes, commandments, um, setting his son as an example to how we should walk. These are the things you do. And the scripture says, he that trusteth in his own heart is a fool. So if you start trusting in your own way, you know, you start taking some of the things the most high says, and then you sort of come up with your own doctrine or come up. That's how they always start. You know, you, you deal with some of the things in the scriptures, just like Satan. When Satan came and tempted Yahushua, he used the verses in the Bible as a way to try to um, get them to do evil, to do things contrary to the way of the most high. Just because someone can read you these scriptures and tell you, hey, look, you're an Israelite. Hey, look, you got to keep these commandments. Doesn't mean that everything they're saying after uh, that preceded that is going to be of the Lord. So you have to be vigilant, right? You have to be sober minded. You have to make sure that you're sticking to the things that mean the most to the most high, that you're paying attention to mercy, grace, love, forgiveness, keeping the commandments to the best of your ability, right? Doing the critical things, right? The things that will get you flatlined with the most high, right? Then if you hey, you doing those fine, okay, brother. Then jump into that and see if you see what you see or whatever. And even once you get into that and you think you you see something, these things are not requirements, right? Um, that's still there, right? Yeah, come, come, come. All right, let me get this First Corinthians two and eleven. <clears throat> it says, "For what man knoweth the things of a man save the spirit of man which is in him? Even so, the things of God knoweth no man but the spirit of God." So you can't even know these things unless the Most High gives you the spirit to know certain things. 
right? And especially even when we came into the knowledge of the Most High to hear of his word, the, uh, his commandments, laws, and his statutes, it's the spirit the Most High had to send the Holy Ghost for us to even uh, uh, take heed to these things, right? Now we have received not the spirit of the world, but the spirit which is of God, that we may know the things that are freely given to us of God. So we got to know these things that the Most High has freely given to us, right? Which things also we speak, not in the words which man's wisdom teaches, right? But which the Holy Ghost teaches, comparing spiritual things with spiritual, right? But the natural man receiveth not the things of the Spirit of God, for they are foolishness unto them. Neither can he know them because they are spiritually discerned. Because you got some people thinking, even get deeper on this, thinking they're spiritual by knowing these deep breakdowns. But instead, they can't even understand the, the key things of the Most High. They don't show no love. They don't show no mercy. They don't show no grace. They don't try to uh, learn of the word of the Most High. Right? And, and, and stick to the milk to learn the milk first before they go to these uh uh, uh deeper things. Um, I think that's it on that. Give me uh, give me Romans chapter twelve and verse two. Romans chapter twelve and verse two. Come. On. And I'm gonna get Second Peter real quick. Second Peter chapter three and verse eighteen. It says, "But grow in grace and in the knowledge of our Lord and Savior Amashiach Kihabasha." To him be glory both now and forever. So here we're seeing that you got to go, grow, in, grow in grace, grow in mercy, grow in that love, right? And all these brothers are taking the uh, fast track, you know, like how they got in the um, amusement parks when you're trying to get on the ride. You're taking the fast track and you're missing everything that's critical, man. Trying to beat Daniel and, and Ezekiel and Isaiah and Jeremiah, man. When really you, you, you're not, you, you can't even do the simple thing. You falling short with the simple things, right? Um, get that priest up, up. It's like, uh, uh, <clears throat> come. Uh, this is um, uh, this is Romans, uh, chapter twelve and verse two. It says, it says, be it says, and be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what is that good mm. and acceptable. And perfect will of Yahweh. Right. So you can't be you can't be um going what everyone else do. You can't be conformed to the world. We know that even on the basis things. But this is talking about even with people that's around you that you thinking is serving the most high, or people that might be uh, uh assuming themselves to be of truth, but they're still themselves is conformed to the way of the world, right? Following worldly things, following worldly um uh doctrines, right. But you have to use wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. You can't be as a regular person, right? You got to be changed by the transformed by the, that renewing of your mind, that you may know what is good, what's the wrong way, what is what is is this the right thing to do? Is Most High okay with this, or is He not okay with this? You gonna only know this by going to those simple things, by following after the simple, basic understandings, man. It's not a bad thing to be basic. It's not a bad thing. I know, like I said, everybody wants to be major prophets. Everybody's saying, oh, man, I think I'm Ezekiel back on earth, really, brother. <laughs> Y'all, every brother, every brother wants to be these big, major gods, right? But yet, you can't even show love. You can't even show mercy. You don't even know the basic principles, right? And there's this precept in uh, Hebrews, um, and I'm gonna get, I think it's Hebrews 8. Let me get that real quick. So, like, it. Hebrews, uh, so Hebrews 8 and yeah, I think it's 13. Uh, make sure to... hey, no, that's what I'm looking for. I think it's Hebrews 5. That's what it is. So lock you. It's real. Go ahead and get your precept. I'm, I'm gonna get this while I'm looking at. <clears throat> All right. Uh, uh this is uh Cyrus. Oh, I got I got it. So lock it. I got it. So lock it. Okay. Um Hebrews 5 and 12. For when for time ye ought to be teachers. Ye have need that one teach you again, which be the first principles of the oracles of God and are become such as of need of milk and not of strong meat. So the most I'm telling you, you need milk. You need basic things. A lot of these brothers are struggling with a lot of things because they never even learn the basics. You trying to be this, this big puffed up teacher, high holy Paul back on the earth, right? <laughs> Instead of just learning the basics, man. 
learning what's genuinely what the most high cares about the most right um let's get uh um let me throw my precepts out there for you yeah get your precepts like it and, and my bad before you get that it says and not of strong meat so the scripture said you don't have to be worried about deep revelation prophecies and you, hey you got brothers out here you know they hang in their head they crying yeah man i cannot do i can't break down revelation man the lord is not with me you know what i'm saying <laughs> i can't break down daniel man i knew i knew that i knew this wasn't for me no you, you that's not what the scripture is saying man you have to learn the basic things the basic understandings man that's the these are the most key things and these are the things in which the most high is well pleased then it's great if you know certain things higher than that but it's not a requirement, man. You barely making it as it is coming out of Babylon the Great <laughs> and don't know, just learn that you were uh, an Israelite. Don't don't know half the things that, that the Most High is talking about. Let's stick to the basics first, man. And let's right. learn the things that really make us into that new creature, right? Following after the Messiah. What changes us, right? Then all that deep breakdown stuff can come down at the end of the line. But these things are still not requirements. Um. Uh, it's internet. Um, yeah, I actually I want to get so like let me get verse 13. It says, For everyone that uses milk, milk is unskillful in the word of righteousness, for he is a babe. Sometimes you just need to be a babe again and suck at the milk, man, and just be normal and, and, and get the, 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 the essential things, right? And so that's what a child does when it's a, a, a babe, it gets the essential milk, right. And it says, but strong meat belongs to them that are of full age, even those who by reason of use have their senses exercised to discern both good and evil. So it's really, what it's saying here, your senses have to be exercised to discern both good and evil. You have to be of an older age. Why is that? Because you can really go left field in Revelations, man. You can really change the whole doctrine of the Most High by going into certain pre prophecies and certain things that you 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 don't need to be in at this moment right that's why i said you have to be able to be exercised and to discern good and evil because you can be said evil and speaking evil to the people that's why when you see brothers just reciting uh breakdowns that they got from somebody else or reciting breakdowns and uh, revelations and daniel and all these things that they heard from someone else that's you don't know if that's true what if you speaking the wrong things what if you saying these are the wrong prophecies man what if you said, hey, this is going to happen when it don't happen, right? What does that make you? That's why sometimes you got to put your hand over your mouth and do what the most I told you to do, which is the simple things, right? Um, it's, I think that's it on that. Con, that's it on that. Yeah, get your precept out. <clears throat> oh, okay. Um, this is Sirach chapter 38 and verse 24. It says, the wisdom of a learned man cometh by a opportunity of leisure right and he so, that had little business shall become wise right so this is the thing man you become with you you're gonna become wise when you set aside time to learn of these critical things of the most high man right take that same energy you got that learning these deep breakdowns and put it forth towards learning the basics man and applying it to your life and see how much change you see right Cause you got to make time to learn the simple things, man. And, and to really grow. That's the time. Like I said, a lot of brothers don't get the fast track, man. And they think of they major prophets when they ain't never even learned how to really love a brother. They never really learned what mercy is. They never really even learned about grace. You showing them certain uh, stories in the Bible. They ain't even never heard of um, a, a Samuel, but yet they out here prophets prophesying about <laughs> something. Coming. Come on, man. You got to reel it in some, right? And learn the essential things, man. Like it just said in Hebrews 5, which be the first principles. You got to come back to the first principles of God. Come. Okay. Um, is it more than that? Oh no, come, come, that's it. All right, come. Um uh I want to get this real quick. Give me uh you can give me uh Ecclesiastes Sirach chapter 19 and verse 24. All right, 19 and 
All right, come. Hey, go ahead. Huh? This is uh Sirach chapter nineteen and verse twenty four. It says, "He that had small understanding mm -hmm. and fear of Yahweh mm -hmm. is better than one that had much wisdom mm -hmm. and transgresseth the law of the Most High." Right. So the Most High is saying. If you have a small understanding and you fear the most high, you just keeping those basic things. You ain't this grand, great God that's knowing all these deep things. You're going to be better than this God that has much wisdom. He knows all these breakdowns and going into all this. and um, uh, he, you, hey, he knows the whole Bible. He can re, re, he do like the book of Eli. He closes his eyes and he can recite the whole Bible. <laughs> right? But he's transgressing the law. There's more simple things. That's why... You got to come back to what's simple and expound in that. Get better in that. Um, uh, let's, that's, man, that's a key preset right there, man, because it's it's look it's looked over a lot um, in the truth, man. Let me get this Jeremiah chapter. Is that on that? Yeah, come, listen, come, come. This Jeremiah chapter 9, <clears throat> and verse 23. It says, Thus saith the Lord, let not the wise man glory in his wisdom, neither let the mighty man glory in his might. Let not the rich man glory in his riches, but let him that glorieth glory in this, that he that understandeth and knoweth me, that I am the Lord which exercise, exercise loving kindness, judgment, and righteousness in the earth. For in these things I delight, saith the Lord. So the Lord is delighted in someone who is showing forth that kindness, judgment, righteousness in the earth the same way he does, right? And he said, not to glory in how much wisdom and knowledge and riches and things you got, but to glory in the fact that you know and understand him. And when you know and understand the most high and how he's merciful and forgiving and loving. And when you do those things that he does, that is what he's well delighted in. That's what you have to take key on. And that's what you have to uh, think of. You got to really back, man, to understand these key principles. Um, uh, I want to get... Uh, that's it on that. Um, the precept. You know. Go ahead, I get it. All right, this is uh, this is First Peter chapter two and verse and verse two. It mm -hmm. says, "As newborn babes desire the sincere milk of the mm -hmm. word, that ye may grow thereby." Yeah, that's a good precept. So you got as newborn babes, you got to desire the milk that you can grow by that milk, man. That you can really grow. That's the problem, brothers. Didn't really grow like that. You know, they ran over, you know, they, you got brothers, they flipped through the Bible. Like, they flipped through the Bible like that. <laughs> brothers, brothers, brothers going hyper speed looking through the Bible, man, and just flipping through it. And, you know, they watching videos. They watch 200 videos a night, right? And they just, they just losing it, man. But you ain't even stay, take your time, right? This race is won by those who take their time, not someone who gasses out. You got to be going slow and understanding the key principles and growing by it. That's how you grow. You rushing through everything, and then you wonder why the moment it's your time to show forgiveness, you like, the hell with that, brother. And when it's your time to love, you say, man, you can't stay in my house. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, you the prophet Elijah back on the earth, right? It's crazy, man. We gotta come back to what's what what what's what's true and undefined, right? Um, and just like that's what Moses did, man. He asked the people, he's like, who's gonna be on the, the, the Lord's side? You gotta come back to who's gonna be on the side of the Lord and learn these things and come back and, and take heed to his word. Um oh man, let's Get, I'm gonna get. Uh, give me Psalms 119 and 10. Probably, Psalms unless 19. you got another precept. Oh no no no! no. I, Psalms 119 and 10. Oh. All right. Oh, okay, come. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> this is Psalms chapter 119 and verse 10. It says, with my whole heart have I sought thee, right. oh, let me not wander from thy commandments. So don't wander from the Most High's commandments, seeking and following after a doctrine that sounds good, or this breakdown 
that a brother's uh, somebody's bringing out or some type of uh, thing that doesn't really matter in the grand scheme of things, right? You got to take heed to these simple things, man. This is how you discern whether a man is really true, whether he's, his intentions are good based off the, these things. You basing off a brother's intentions because he knows a lot of verses or how many um, uh, revelation breakdowns he got or how many precepts he can recite. That's not how this is. I'm sorry, brothers. We learned in, uh, this ain't basketball or football or it, or, uh, or f boxing or any of these sports that our people is uh, addicted to, man. This is not what this is. This is not that type of uh, battle. It's not this type of race. This race is one to the simple, right? to the merciful, to the grace, graceful, the love, the caring, right? The ones who exhibit these qualities that the Most High has towards us. Those are the ones, right? Um, so that's why uh, David said, with my whole heart have I sought thee. And he said, oh, let me not wander from thy commandments. Because you can wander from it, man. And how you seek the Most High is seeking his words, refining your life self-examination admitting when you're wrong showing forth that love and caring man. hey man uh, it's 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 sad how many of our people are running over these things um and, and are missing what it's all about it's crazy man the scriptures say that um uh, you have men that uh uh know a lot man but really they they, they don't really know anything right you sitting there reading, a, you, you, you might know all these scriptures, but you're unprofitable to your own self. You don't even know what's really going on like that. You can't even really serve the most high because you made it all about you and the way you serve the most high. And how you think and what you think this is and what you think that is instead of going back to what be the simple things, the first principles. Um, give me Romans 14 and 5. Huh. Romans 14 and 5. All right, this is Romans chapter 14 and verse 5. It God. says, One man esteemeth one day above another, mm -hmm. and another esteemeth every day alike. Right. Let every man be full. What does it say? Per, pers persuaded. Persuaded in his own mind. So let every man be <clears throat> fully persuaded in his own mind. That's the key, that's the key there. Um, with these matters that are above, um, uh, uh, look, look, man, you got to be fully persuaded that, that what you're doing is true, that what you're doing is right. You got brothers' own offense about things, but yet, they, yet, yet they're making this seem like this is the law or the statutes and commandments. Um, for an example, is the mark of the beast. You got brothers that break down the mark of the beast, and they make that like the law, statutes, commandments of the Lord. <laughs> no, it's not the same thing, man. You got to be fully persuaded in your own mind. What I'm fully persuaded in, in my own mind, is the commandments of the Lord. In Hamashiach and Hawashiach. In these prophets of old, right? That spoke and, and, and spoke of the things to come that actually came, right? That's what I'm, that's what I'm uh, uh, well persuaded in, right? Fully persuaded in. Now, you got brothers that are fully persuaded in other things, man. But you got to be fully persuaded in the things that you're well assured of. Right. You got brothers out there teaching things and things that they don't, they're not even really they don't really know what's, what they're talking about. You just saying things, man, reciting things. Knowing that your judgment is going to be worse than the others because you are over the Lord's flock in its inheritance. Because that's the position you seek. That's why everyone shouldn't even seek that position, man. Just be a servant, man. Just be loving and caring. Just speak righteousness. Right. Um. Let me get uh, Sarah chapter 1 and verse 23, Paya. Sarah chapter 1 and verse 23. I'm going to get this real quick. This is Galatians chapter 1 and verse 6. It says, I marvel that you are soon removed, to him, removed from him that called you into the grace of Christ unto another gospel, which is not another, but there be some that trouble you and will pervert the gospel of Christ. What does that mean? You can pervert the gospel. That means people are they're using these same scriptures. 
the same verses, the same accounts, the same the most high, right? And they're perverting this truth. They even perverted Yahweh and what he was about, <clears throat> right? But though we or an angel for heaven preach any other gospel unto you than that which you have pre that we have preached unto you, let them be accursed. As we said before, so say I now again, if any man preach any other gospel unto you, then that ye have received, let him be accursed. For do I know persuade, for do I for do I now persuade men or God? Or do I seek to please men? For if I yet please men, I should not be the servant of a Mashiach. So if you can't be a play, 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 uh, pleasing men, a pleasing the most high in his son, right? For I neither received it of man, neither was I taught it, but by the revelation of a Mashiach Abisha. So these are the things that I'm well assured of that came straight from the Father, from the Most High, right? To his people. The prophecy sent to his people. The Messiah he sent to his people, right? These are the teachings and the testimonies that I know is sure, like we just read. We have to focus on these things, man, right? And get better in these before we can move to another, right? It should be nobody, brother, out there breaking down all these things if they're not getting better and showing love and mercy and grace and can have, can't even uh, uh, exhibit those qualities of the Father, right? Um, Give me that side right one part, y'all. All right, this is Sirach chapter 1 and verse 23. Mm -hmm. It says, a patient man will bear for a time. Uh, Sirach 1 and 26, my bad. 26. Right, uh, 1 and 26? That's my bad. <clears throat> All right, this is uh, Sirach chapter 1 and verse 26. It says, if thou desire wisdom, keep the commandments, mm -hmm. and the Lord shall give her unto thee. Yeah, if you want, hey, if you desire to learn more about the Most High, you got to start by doing what he told you to do. He'll, he'll give you things. He'll, he'll teach you what these certain things mean. He'll make you grow there by his word. Like we just read, growing by the milk, like I just brought out. He'll make you grow by the milk, right? But that's the problem. A lot of us aren't growing by the milk, man. A lot of us just reading the milk and, and discarding it like, oh, man, those are simple things. Those things ain't that deep. I'm trying to be the next. <laughs> I don't want to learn that. It's crazy, man. Um, let me get Syrac 37 and 12. Pray out. 37 and 12. Pray. Yeah, and we're going to go all the way to 16 on that. All right, come. <clears throat> Syrac chapter 37 and verse 12. It says, uh -huh. but he continually with a godly man mm -hmm. whom and it's like it says bit be continually with a godly man mm -hmm. thou knowest to keep the commandments of the lord mm -hmm. who mine is according to thy mind mm -hmm. and will swell with sorrow thee, i mean will sorrow with thee and thou shalt miscarry miscarry right so the scripture saying to be continually with a godly man whom thou knowest to keep the commandments of the Lord. So the most I telling you to be with people who you know is, is trying to keep the commandments of God. Not people who just know and break down or uh, uh, just know a lot of verses, but whose actions you've seen. Right? Um, keep read. It says, and let the, the counsel of thy own heart stand. Right. For, for there is no man more faithful unto thee than then I, I mean, then then it. It. so when you when you got whenever you make a decision, okay, I know. Uh, for an example, uh, you going through some verses and you see, hey man, the Lord told me not to eat pork. You got another brother telling you, hey, pork you shouldn't eat. Oh, the verse itself say pork you shouldn't eat, right? You got to be fully in on that and let your counsel stand on that. Should no brother be able to uh, get you to say, oh man, man, you if you if you really think about this, you can really eat pork, brother. <laughs> <laughs> no, you got to be fully all in. Why? Because the Lord said it and the counsel you got and the decision you made was all based on the most high. Right. Keep read. It says uh, number 14 for a man's mind is sometime won't to tell him more than seven watchmen mm -hmm. that 
sit above in a high tower. Mm -hmm. So you got so a man's sometimes a man's heart, uh, which is your mind, your man's mind will um uh will, will go crazy, right? You you start reading things and if you don't be firm and make a decision on what the most I told you to do, you start saying, well, oh maybe I can do this or maybe I can do that or you you'll run all over the place, right? That's why you got to be fully assured of the Most High's commandments, His laws, and His statutes, and be stern on that. Um, that you don't uh, uh, willow with every, what, that you don't go with every wind. We're gonna bring out that precept too that I just thought about. Can you read? Uh, fifteen. It says, and above all this, pray to the Most High. Right. It says that He will direct thy way to in the truth. Right. So you got to pray to the Most High that He direct your way in the truth. That He leads you. A lot of brothers ain't, ain't even. Um, uh, uh, asking of the most high things, they just doing their own thing, right? Things you, hey man, I'm gonna tell y'all right now, there's certain things I don't know the answer to, man. It's certain things that I read in these scriptures that I wouldn't go and tell a brother this is a hundred percent what this is, or this is a hundred percent what that means. It's okay, not it's okay to say that, man. You're not all these things are meant to be known by everyone, right? Um, so you got to understand that. Um and, and, and believe that and, and stay in that humble humbleness of spirit. Um, because that's what's gonna keep you uh connected to the most high's word, his laws and statutes and commandments. Um that's that's on that 16 it says, Let us go uh before every enterprise and counsel before every action. Right. So you need counsel before every action for you go fully all in. Some brothers ain't never had no counsel. Yeah, they are here teaching all these things that's not even the law, steps, commandments, and making these things like the commandments, like they used to do in the days old. All right? So you got to be wise and understand that. Um, I'm going to get Ephesians chapter 4 and verse 14. And it says, That we henceforth be no more children tossed to and fro and carried about with every wind of doctrine. Because that's what you used to do in the world. Right? It says, By the slight of men and cunning craftiness, Whereby they lie, whereby they lie in wait to deceive, right? But speaking the truth in love may grow up into grow up into him in all things, which is the head even of Mashiach. So we have to understand we can't be tossed to and fro. We got to be firm on the Most High's laws that's commandments. We got to be firm on your Mashiach Yahushua, right? We got to be firm and get grow by these critical things that make us better, right? And don't be deceived. By these different, uh, uh, just veer offs from the truth, right? That veer off the narrow path and take us into something that's contrary to the Most High's word, um, because that's how it's done. Satan don't just Satan's gonna use what you got to deceive you, right? Come right? He's not just gonna come and, and tell you something that's not even in the Bible. Come completely contrary, right? I Many can come like that, but not too many brothers are deceived like that, right? Deceiving is you, you're very cunning, like we was just read, um. Let's get uh give me first Timothy four and thirteen, Priya. Okay, I was gonna say I, um for, I was I got a precept, but I right, get your precept now. Okay, you wanna get it? Yeah. Okay. Uh this is uh the wisdom of Solomon, chapter one and verse four. It says, mm -hmm. For until a malicious soul, wisdom shall not enter. Right. Nor shall in the body that is subject unto sin. Right. So man, that's a good precept. So People that's subject to sin, you all, you all, you you don't even keep the God's commandments. Wisdom not gonna enter into you, man. That's why it's critical to come back to this. You could be thinking you know all these things, but you don't really have wisdom because you're not using, uh, you're not, you don't have the actions to back up your mouth. You're not doing the things in which the Most I told you to do. Yet you could quote a lot of precepts and say, "Oh man, this is what, this is what um, uh, uh Paul was meaning here." This is what Peter was meaning. This is what John the Revelator was meaning here. But yet, you don't even know the commandments. You're not even keeping, you're not even doing anything the most I told you to do. Or trying to. Right? Is it on that? Is it on that? Come, come, come. Yeah, give me 1 Timothy chapter 4 and verse 13. This is 1 Timothy chapter 4 and verse 1. I'm going to get this. It says, Now the Spirit speak of expressly that in the latter times some shall depart from the faith giving heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of devils. So you gotta, man, you gotta take heed to these scriptures, man. It's a lot of deception out of there. So you gotta be really weary, man. You can't rush into anything, man. You gotta be 
uh, uh, calm, stick to what's the basics, and not don't be so quickly to be uh, uh, on with another pro with, with some program, right? And we're gonna read that none of the, our, our forefathers, the righteous ones, did that either. They weren't just on with everybody's program. We're gonna read about the Church of Berea, how they how they did when uh when things came up to them, right? Huh. Keep re reading that verse thirteen. <clears throat> All right, this is uh first Timothy chapter four and verse thirteen. It says, Till I come, give intent attendance to reading mm -hmm. authority to doctrine. Right. So give reading give attendance to reading, to exhortation, to doctrine. So to doctrine is talking about the most high's law, statutes, commandments. That's what the doctrine is talking about. He says, For he give us good doctrine, forsake ye not his law. He's talking about his word, his this is what we got in front of us right now, right? Can you read? It says, neglect not the gift that is in thee, mm -hmm. which was given thee by prophecy with the same, with the laying on the hands of the pro prophet. Uh, Presbyterian. Presbyterian. It says, meditate un upon this, th I mean, upon these things. Mm -hmm. Give thyself willingly. Holy. I mean, wo wholly to them that so give yourself holy to them so you got to give your whole self over to these the words of the most high these laws these commandments you got to be all in on what you're confirmed of what we know to be true keep read it says to them that thy profit profi profiting. profiting may appear to all right so the only way your profiting is going to really appear to all is by doing what it's saying right here, meditating upon these things, the laws, the statutes, the commandments, Hamashiach, the prophets, all these. This is what makes you better, right? That your um, profiting may appear to all. Not by these breakdowns, man. Not by going deep into these prophecies and you claiming you know what's going on, right? But by doing these things, meditating upon it, like he said, just like in Joshua 1 and 8. This is not a new thing. This is an old thing. Right, to to meditate upon these things that your profiting may appear to all. That's when your your profiting appears to people, not by knowing these deep breakdowns, but by practicing God's commandments, His laws, and His statutes. Um, verse sixteen, it says, "Take heed unto thyself, right, and unto the doctrine." It mm -hmm. says, "Continue in them, for in doing this, thou shalt both save thyself mm -hmm. and them." That hear thee. Right. So the key there is to continue in them. And for in doing this, by continuing in doing the commandments, the laws, and statutes, you'll be able to save not only yourself, but those that hear you. That's the power of that. Not by a deep breakdown are you going to do that, but by showing people these the milk, the sincere word. Um, let me get um let me bring it out just so people can know Proverbs 4 and 2. For I give you good doctrine, forsake you not my law. That's what he's talking about. That doctrine. Take heed to that. Um, let me get Hebrews 13 and 9. Um, and you can be Proverbs 14 and 15 for y'all. Yeah. Proverbs 14 and 15. I'm gonna get Hebrews 13 and 9. And it says, Be not carried away. I mean, be not carried about with diverse and strange doctrines. For it is a good thing that thy heart be established with grace, not with meat. So your heart should not be established with deep breakdown your heart should be established with grace that's one of the key principles of the the bible your your heart needs to be established with the the the, the key things following after the ways of the most high not being your heart being established with me you got brothers going around i know what the mark of beast is I'll tell you that now <laughs> or i know uh, what daniel was talking about i know all this man no your heart is established, your mind is established by things that it shouldn't be established in. Your mind should be established in doing these things, the laws, the statutes, commandments, being a follower of Yahweh shop, walking in his steps, 1 John 2 and 3. And he that abided to him ought himself to walk even as he walked. Right? It says, which have not profited them. Oh my man. Hey, this is the <laughs> In scripture, I'm gonna read this again. I'm going from the top. It says, For it is a good thing that thy heart be established with grace, not with meats 
which have not profited them that have been occupied therein. So the scripture said, it's not profiting you to be occupied in meats, but it profits you to be occupied with that grace, to be studying these laws, such commandments, to be following after the qualities, that mercy, the love, the care of one another, the forgiveness. These are the things that profit you. We just read that earlier that what, what we just read earlier, um, part of when you was, um, uh, 1 Timothy 4 16, it says, take heed unto thyself and unto the doctrine, continuing them for in doing this, thou shalt save thyself and save them that hear thee. Right? right. So it's, this is the complete opposite. It's saying if you follow after these things and continue in this doctrine, the Lord's doctrine, Proverbs 4 and 2, his law says commandments, following after his son, that you can, it will profit you. Right? Because you can save yourself and those that hear you off of this. But by these deep breakdowns and in the meats, you won't be able to do that. So we got to reframe our thinking, man. Stop trying to be the deep brother. Stop trying to be um, this great guy and just do, just be a servant, man. It's a lot. It's a problem with a lot of our people is just following, right? Being a merciful, caring, lover, forgiveness. Everybody ain't gotta be the the top guy. You ain't the, everybody ain't the king, right? We gotta be servants first, right? Of the Most High. Give me that Proverbs fourteen and fifteen for y'all. Right, come. This is Proverbs chapter fourteen and verse fifteen. It says, "The simple believeth every word." Right, but the prudent man looketh well to his going. So you can't just go with any new breakdown or any new anything you're not assured of. You're not 100 percent in, like we are these lost that commandments. You can't just fall into that, cause it could be wrong. I'm sorry to tell you. I know brothers don't want to even imagine this. Sisters don't want to imagine this. All these major camps and camps they all want to imagine this. But some of your breakdowns of revelations and Daniel and uh, deep prophecies could be wrong. I know there's something a lot of brothers ain't never thought of, but it could be. That's why you have to give yourself wholly unto over to the things that you're sure of, right? And be, and, and, and be all into this thing. Look well into your going. Don't give yourself over so easily just because somebody broke down that you were an Israelite. Right. Then now I must, oh, he say, oh, this is what Revelations 18 was meaning. Or this is what... Oh, that's what he was talking about. He said, he did say we was Israelites too, so he must be right about this too. No. <laughs> it don't roll like that, man. Um, uh, give me uh Acts 17 and oh actually I got this. Acts 17 and 11. And you give me Romans 16 and 17, Paya. Acts 17 and 11. And it says, These were more noble than those in Thessalonica. Thessalonica, Salaki. And that they received the word with all readiness of mind. It's talking about the church of Berea. And search the scriptures daily whether those things were so. So they had to search these things daily to see what Paul was saying. To see what these brothers, they didn't just believe what brothers said. They had to base everything they had off the laws, the statutes, the commandments, the, the prophets, the things in which they were well assured of. They, they based it off that. If it wasn't there, they wouldn't have believed it. They couldn't have believed it because it would have been a new strange doctrine. Right? So you got to understand that. That's key. Give me that um, Romans 16 you got. So you said 16 and 15? 16 and 17. And go down to 19. All right. This is uh, Romans chapter 16 and verse 17. Now I beseech you, brethren, mark them which causes division and mm -hmm. offense country to the doctrine which right. he have learned. Right. So you got to mark those who cause division and offense is contrary to the doctrine. Now, a lot of brothers say they'll think this is talking about their own camp doctrine or any belief they got. This doctrine is talking about the commandments, the laws, the statutes, Yahweh Shai. This is the doctrine where, that this is talking about. It ain't talking about your belief that you just came up, that's what you've seen in Revelation or what you've seen in, um, <laughs> this ain't what this is talking about. Right, can you read? It says, and avoid them. Mm. It says, for they that are such serve, I mean, service, not our yeah, Lord, Amashiach Yahweh Right. But their own bellies. 
you got a lot of people in this thing that ain't really in it for the Lord, man. They serve in their own belly. They want to be the next prophet. They want to be the next leader. They want to be the guy that has this knowledge. I, I'm this guy. I'm this high guy, right? They're not really in it for the Lord, uh, though they speak of the Lord. Their intentions are not true. Can you read? And by good words, mm -hmm. their speeches deceive the hearts of the simple. Right. So you can do that's why you got to be like the church of Berea and really go into these other things. You hey, hey man, you gotta really seek, you gotta really follow out the things that the most high uh, is giving you that you're assured of. And everything else you gotta sort of tread carefully. You can't really just jump all in on anything else, right? You gotta continue to learn and to grow, man. Nobody you ain't no false serving in the most high just because you don't know something or just because you don't agree with what someone said that a uh, breakdown in revelations or uh, uh jeremiah was saying right that's not how it goes man you gotta that, that's not and that's what the lord is saying in verse 17 he said uh those uh, uh divisions and offenses contrary to the doctrine he's talking about those things he's talking about the commandments he's talking about your shot the critical things right Verse 19. Verse 19, and it says, For your obedience is come aboard upon all men. Mm. And, let me start it. I am glad, therefore, on your behalf, but yet I would have you wise unto, unto that which is good. Right. And the simple concerning evil. So you have to understand evil. You have to understand. It's a simple concerning evil. That means you shouldn't be really deep in the evil, but you should understand evil. You should understand that people can deceive you. You should understand that everyone that says shalom and everyone saying, hey, I love the most high. Hey, I'm an Israelite. <laughs> that they not always, they don't always have the true intentions, right? That's why I said you got to, the, the way you base these intentions off it are off the actions of this love and mercy and grace and the commandments that we see. Right. Um, let me get Proverbs 18 and 2. Um, you can give me give me second Timothy 2 and 15, Praya. We got a couple more and we're gonna get out of here. Um oh yeah, the um the classic. Yeah, the classic. <laughs> Proverbs 18 and 2. It says, A fool have no delight in understanding, but that his heart may discover himself. So you got a lot of brothers that don't have the light in this word, they don't have the light in the commandments. They don't have the light in understanding the most high sincere milk in his word and his understanding. Instead, they want to discover themselves. They in this for them to, oh yeah, I see this. Nobody else seen that. I got this. Or they, they trying to find, oh yeah, this is what makes me different right here. I, I, I'm going to show y'all how, 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 how high I am. I'm about to show y'all that I'm the, uh, you got brothers here saying they the Holy Spirit, said that they all type of manner of things, man. Right? So you got to understand that. You got to understand the key principle because the Lord spoke of the times coming where people were going to deceive you, right? It ain't talking about Christianity, brothers and sisters, right? It ain't talking about Islam, right? We're talking about people who accept it, that know about the Most High, that know the truth, what, you, uh, what we call it, but yet are here to deceive you and to draw you away, right? And then take your, if Satan is all out in Christianity and Satan's all out in Islam and all these other religions, don't you think Satan's right at home with where the real truth is, where the real knowledge is? Yes, he's right here. This is where he's going to be really trying to be in. Because this is what really matters, right? So be, be, be sober and be vigilant because our adversary, the devil, walketh around. Right, everywhere, seeking who he can destroy. Right? You gotta really take that into to um to understanding and think about it. Um give me that uh second Timothy. This is Second Timothy chapter two and verse fifteen. Mm -hmm. Study to show thyself approved. Right. The Yahweh. A workman that needeth not to be ashamed. Mm. Rightly dividing the word of truth. You gotta rightly divide the word of truth, man. You got to be making sure that you're saying right things and things that you don't know. What does the Bible tell you to do if you don't know? Put your hand over your mouth. Be quiet. I don't know. I don't know this. Be not ashamed to say that. Hey, brother, 
I've heard many what people say it might be, but I don't know. You know, I'm still seeking. The most I ain't showed me that yet, brother. Now, some brothers might say, oh, brother, I knew I knew you went to the Lord. <laughs> because they expect you to be there. But the meek shall inherit the earth. Those that can admit that, those that are humble, those that have those qualities, those are the ones in which the Lord is looking for, man. Don't be ashamed to be meek. Don't be ashamed to uh, 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 to uh, admit that, hey, I don't know. Because a lot of times the brothers who claim they know, they don't know. They're saying the wrong things. Things is not that, that you don't want to be one of those brothers that clung on us, clinged on to something. Then in the latter days, the Lord reveals unto you that that was wrong. Right? I mean, brother, probably I just went out. But I'm going to bring this last precept out and then we're going to end off at this is Isaiah chapter 34, and verse 16. We have the storms around here, so it's probably what it is. It says, Seek ye out of the book of the Lord and read. No one of these shall fail, none shall want her mate. For my mouth it hath commanded. In the spirit, it have gathered them. So follow after this word of the Most High. Continue um, following, out, seeking out of the book of the Lord and reading, um, and following the key principles, and not trying to be um, someone that you're not, or, or what others may pressure you, pressure you to be. With that, I want to give all honor and glory and praises. Are you you, you back in, Priya? Yeah, come, come, come. Okay, so like it. I read the last precept. It was Isaiah thirty-four and six. I was going to end it off. I but, had um, a precept, but then. Okay, so get my, the precept. What's your precept? All right. Um, this is my precept. It's, uh, this is Revelation chapter 10 and verse 9. Right. It says, I went unto the angel, and he said unto him, Give me the little book. And he said unto me, Take it and eat it up, mm -hmm. and it shall make thy belly bitter, but it shall be in thy mouth sweet as honey. And right, I took so, the little book. Go ahead. It's like it's good. And I took the little book out of the angel's hand and ate it up, and it was in my mouth sweet as honey. And as soon as I had eaten it, my belly was bitter. Mm. And he said unto me, Thou must prophesy again before many peoples, nations, tongues, and kings. Right. So you got to understand there's a lot that comes with this knowledge. Um, certain things is bitter. Certain things is sweet. Um, so you got to be very careful um, when you're using the Most High's word, um, when you're eating up his word, when, you un when you're going into his scriptures, when you're going to his verses, um, to make sure that you tread carefully and make sure that you don't misrepresent the Most High. Um, and then before when you left, I read Isaiah 34 and 16. It says, seek you out of the book of the Lord and read, no one of these shall fail. So this won't fail you if you're following after these laws, that's commandments, these prophets, um, Yahweh, Shah, Hamashah, his footsteps. This won't fail you. Um, none, none shall want her mate for my mouth that have commanded and his spirit that have gathered him. This lets you know what he's talking about. It says his mouth, it have commanded. You have to follow out the things in which the Most High has commanded, the prophets in which he sent, that he commanded. Um, all these things you have to follow after and, and do what you're assured of, right? And those things that get deeper in that slow way, man, if you feel like you you that guy, be that guy, right? But as for me and my house, we're going to be humble and serve the Most High. And we're gonna hold our mouth when we don't when we don't know what we're talking about, like the scriptures say. Um, you got anything else you want to add, brother? Pryor? Yeah, let's let's sit on that. All right, man. Um, we want to uh thank the Most High for blessing us on the Sabbath, best us be able to come together and uh, speak the words to some of the people. We hope some of the words, knowledge, and wisdom, of the Most High, um, uh, that you understood it. Um, that if you, if you didn't, uh, that you learned something. Um, that you grew on some type of wisdom from it. Um, it may be the most high showed you something, um, uh, sparked your spirit um, for you to understand something he wanted you to know. No, um, with that, we're going to give all honor and glory and praises to Yahweh, by Shem, Yahweh Shah, Shalom Israel, Shabbat Shalom, and Kwame Asherah.